I don't think those pallets would hold much. But if Randy says it, it probably is true. Fifteen Super. This is our first wheel JCB skid steer we've gotten in in a long time. I'm about ready to just give it a try. Wow, this seems so familiar to mine at home. Mine has tracks, same size cab, spacious, same screen, a little different radio on the new ones. Mine's not that old even. I got a little newer radio. Same controls, three speed. Pretty nice. Let's give it a run. Believe it or not, it is June, mid-June, and it's raining, and it's kind of cold here. I'm wearing three layers, uh, light, you know. Normally, we'd be in t-shirts. Normally, it's supposed to be hot this time here, but it's raining. I'm glad this thing's got a cap. We better turn the heat on, though. It's June here. Gotta have the heat on. It's a new thing. But, so far, so good. This is an impressive machine. So, you may ask, why haven't we had these in a while at our store? Well, going back about 10 years ago, we used to stock a lot of wheel JCB skid steers. They had a series of machines that were rather jumpy. The controls weren't as smooth, and hence we didn't sell a lot of them. They, they became kind of like, ah, oh, those are kind of jumpy. And they weren't as attractive. But I've been told uh, the track ones weren't that way. The wheeled ones were. So the track ones we've always promoted, uh, but the, the wheeled ones were a little bit jumpy. But my rep told me, and I've heard on the interwebs, that that jumpiness is gone. These things are redesigned. Um, they're smoother than smooth gets. And so far, they're right. Um, it is a new generation of controls on these. Um, we got, we're just in turtle gear. The beauty with JCB is you can switch it to snail. And it goes to snail there, and it's at 5% capacity. So if I push this lever forward, it's hardly going to move. It's like a creep gear. But you can change that 5% with this button right here. You push it forward, and it'll start dialing it up until you tell that button to stop. So we're going to go up to 50%, 55, oh, 60. But that's with that button right there. So now when I push the lever forward, we're going a little faster. And you have more precise control in snail gear. Um, way more precise and there's no there's no um, extra activity on the stick going up one gear to rabbit or turtle I would say they're just as smooth like I don't know I'm very impressed with this this is a, a good machine um, it feels a lot like I'm driving my 2TS at home um, feels identical other than there's no tracks um, spacious cab quiet no other skid steer you have this visibility but with the JCB skid steer it is unique you own you only have one arm and some people get a little torn up about that and they want a conventional two-arm machine JCB doesn't make one but Kubota does and we sell that as well um, and Kubota's got cool features that this doesn't have but JCB is the only side side skid steer machine that you can get into. Don't have to crawl over the bucket. And they're really, really smooth to control. I've been holding a camera the whole time and I feel really comfortable um, driving this skid steer. One thing is on the Kubotas, the, the JCBs as well, the, um, the rabbit gear won't engage on wheeled machines until the hydraulic temperature's up. Because it just doesn't go into rabbit. Kind of makes me wonder, does this even have the rabbit gear? It just has the button, but maybe it's not equipped with the high speed? I'm in turtle right now, and this thing's flying. It's not going slow. It's got the foot throttle, so we can really... Yeah, I would by no means think this is slow. So maybe there is no rabbit on this machine. It just 
just came off the truck, so maybe it has to be PDI, and they have to enable something to make the rabbit work. But uh, so far, this is a comfy skid steer, air right seat. Can't complain about that. And like everything else, it's Golden Squibbon. This is pictured and priced on our website right now. It's GoldenSquibbon.com. We're the only ones who do so. Shameless plug. So getting out of the machine, you just pull this up, flip the lever, and even got a nice little spillway here. It's the easiest skid steer to get in and out of on the market, bar none. But it's a sweet machine. It's kind of a, I ordered this one kind of as a base model. It's got the mechanical hitch up front, but it does have the cab with the heat and AC. It's a smaller one, 215. Uh, but it's a pretty sweet machine. And there's no def on this. And I don't believe there's even a regen, which is really nice. More people are driving this. Initial thoughts. Very, very smooth. Ooh, it's way smoother than the yeah. old ones. Yeah. It's like driving a new car, huh? Yeah, it smells like a new car. <laughs> so our dyno shed's getting a remodel. It's a pretty neat idea, actually. I wonder who thought of it. Just move the wall over here and make it bigger. Just like they just cut it out. It's really neat. It's cool. Yeah, we need a bigger dyno store tools and stuff, I've heard. Need a little more tool storage. Uh, this isn't one of my prouder moments. I uh, borrowed this truck and Dustin told me don't crash it. And what did I do? I crashed it. I didn't crash it. I hooked an implement backing up and it just caught the edge of that bed and just ripped it all up. If I would have videoed it, you'd be like, I don't even understand how that could have happened. But it did. And I got to buy donuts. So let's go get some donuts. I buy good donuts. I come back by a couple hours later, they have it parked here like it's a trophy, like they're trying to show off my mistake. Those guys. My dad just found out what I did. So what do you think about it, dude? Did I do it good? I wondered why it isn't already hanging on the wall. It oh. should be hanging on the wall. There's plenty of room to write names on, yeah. Dates. Dates, know? yeah. I mean, we could put the whole bed up there. Yeah, I think we could. Dustin <laughs> wanted to put a flatbed on it. Yeah, and we could store we could store some stuff on top of it. Just, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Justice is served. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh! He almost hit it. Oh, he didn't, he didn't hit it. That would have been funny. One of the uh, scariest things to see on the yard is the snap-on truck. A lot of, a lot of bad, just, a lot of bad decisions happen on that truck. I'm not saying bad. I'm just saying they stay with you a while. Anyways, we are doing a. Uh, we're get, sending that machine off the roto, it's, but we needed to do a calibration and a sensor repair before it left. And Randy's just going up and down with that boom as part of the process to make sure it's, it functions like it should. I saw it look funny when he put the pallets there. He said it was to hold it up in case it fell down, which I don't think those pallets would hold much. But if Randy says it, it probably is true. But anyways, I'm in Burlington today. Uh, it's part of my Tuesday routine now. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff going on here. Let's go take a look. Baylor. Hey, Jesse, do you need a helper? Oh, yeah, please. Thank you. Can you send me one? <laughs> <laughs> You're on camera. I'm putting that on YouTube. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, people are running away. What you doing? A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get you some. I didn't know we worked on bear cats. Oh, but they got a Kubota in it. Put my British accent in there for the bear cats. 
Ooh, it's an Echo. Is it a pull start since it's an Echo? Yeah, it's got a key over there on your side. I'm joking. Never had an Echo that had a key. Huh? I'm just joking. What you working on? Uh, this lawnmower here, gonna service it. What's wrong with it? Uh, Holy cow, they put those blades on. Gator blades, yo. Gator blades. Gator blades. Nice. Pop wheelies with the deck off of it. All the time. <laughs> All the time. You know All the time. <laughs> so we got a uh, Lotus Junk pulled by the amazing sidekick. It's almost touching, not quite. But when all the other vehicles want to take a break for the night, the sidekick doesn't. Loaded by the pool. We're doing it. It's hauling it. Woohoo! Probably the heaviest load I've ever hauled with a sidekick. Woo! <laughs> it's got a little bit of tongue weight. It's dumping well though. No more tongue weight. I was afraid it was going to kind of lift the RTV up, but it did good. Well, a little humor. Well, a little humor of the day. Make sure to use the right ball. It's two and five sixteenths. That's impressive. <laughs> We're gonna have to fix that. We'll have to use the excavator. We got buckets! Pretty nice load of buckets. The JCB Agra buckets are in stock at Scouting's equipment. Yes, that is my British accent for the JCB buckets. I might be critiqued for my accent. Just joking, these buckets are from JCB, and that is a British company. Sometimes I like to make make it sound like I'm British from uh, from the UK, but yeah, JCB, so we order machines in from JCB, and sometimes they don't come with buckets because we have to order them through parts. And when they come through parts, they come at a different time than the machines come, so when we get them in, it looks like, wow, we order way too many buckets, but actually we have a bunch of machines up there that are missing buckets because they showed up here before the buckets did. They used to not put stickers on. The bucket so you just saw a big black bucket and then you'd have to find the tag kind of like this one that said jcb on it yeah this was no sticker i much rather like the stickers kind of wish they had put the stickers on all of them it looks like just on the bigger ones the skid steer buckets have no stickers like that It'd be kind of cool if it did i know they won't last very long because they're on a bucket but still looks nice Oh, buckets. That looks good. That's the high capacity bucket for a skid steer from JCB. Looks nice. Big. Trying to figure out if I can get a quick hitch that's the same size as this from out back, but I gotta measure the distance. We are at 43 and a half with I didn't measure the height. I don't know if it's even gonna be wide enough, so why measure the height? I found a, found a quick hitch here. I don't think that one's wide enough, but I think this one is. And it's got the same cat holes, I believe. Let's see if we're 34. Uh, oh. Hmm. So I was trying to measure this quick hitch and uh, trying to remember all the measurements without writing them down. Then I realized I'm in a forklift. Let's just bring the quick hitches together, then measure them. That's what I'm doing. This is easy enough to grab. So, customer has a John Deere quick hitch set up. 
and he has a few Kubota M7s with quick hitches on them. And we need to put a quick hitch on the next one. And we're short on quick hitches right now, so I'm scrounging. Um, one of my options is take the one off that John Deere and mount it on the Kubota. Or maybe this one will work.